Last year, the Court of Appeals stopped the Kampala Capital City Authority from disbanding the Kampala District Land Board and transferring its powers to the Uganda Land Commission. Justice Stephen Kavuma, who made the ruling, also restrained KCCA from creating a new land board. The City Hall Authority had maintained that it was acting on the advice of the Solicitor General. However, while appearing before the Parliamentary Committee of Public Service and Local Government, the Minister for Kampala, Frank Tumwebaza, noted that the Cabinet had finalized the policy document that will be tabled in Parliament. The policy document will provide the legal backing to create a new city land board as required by the new KCCA Act. You see, the, the KCCA Act says where the functions of the former district are required, Certain modifications have to be made to the Act, okay, to provide for them. That is why a minister is allowed by law to issue what they call a statutory instrument. The minister further noted that the government will seek the advice of the Attorney General over the court ruling. There is contention that people were raising about those in court. Well, on legal matters, on legal disputes, I will seek the guidance of the Attorney General. But some legislators have expressed concern about some of the evictions that the authority has already started effecting despite an existing court order stopping the KCCA from doing so. It could be some kind of fraud at the board. After allegedly disbanding the board and even communicating with the chairman and the secretary that they were no longer, something called the Kampala District Board is no longer there. There are people carrying on the same work. Some experts are worried that if enacted, the new regulation may give the executive director too much power in handling city matters. More research all in TV Parliament.